Hey guys, this is Dwight with BKKFatty.com. I am at McKellar Bar tonight. It's Friday night. I'm uh, thirsty for some craft beers. This is one of the, definitely one of the hottest places in town to get uh, craft beer. The McKellar is actually a roaming gypsy brewers. They do these um, random crazy named and crazy tasting beers. It's really um, well known for being one of the most experimental and pushing the, the limits on as far as what beer can do in general. They've also opened up a small uh, restaurant doing a tasting menu on the weekend. So we're here to both taste some beer and also have it paired with some uh, pretty fancy food. So I'm excited, excited to show you around. Uh, they have about 30 beers on tap. Uh, we won't be able to taste them all, but uh, we'll definitely taste a few and tell you how they are and also show, show you like where you can go and get bottles, like limited edition bottles of their beer and some other crazy interesting things like that. Uh, I'll try to stay sober, remember to drink responsibly and uh, enjoy. We're surrounded by beer now. Um, some of these are a limited edition stuff. Um, this Lime Leaf Pilsner from McKellar, they're making at a brewery in Koh Samui. So this is stuff that you can only, you can only really get here. Um, some of it though is, uh, are really nice Danish beers that were imported. Um, so this is just like, this is like beer overload. There's a lot to choose from here. All craft beer. They call it a tasting room, but it's actually just like where they where you can grab beer to go and where they store stuff. But they're actually starting to play around with stuff like this. I think it says 3,200 baht for a bottle of craft bourbon. It's called Black. It looks. This is something that. Um, don't get me wrong. I love my beer, but I would love to try this sometime too. Looks really interesting. And I know we'll go back in the bar. They have a lot of their, their spirits on the shelf in there. Craft beer is kind of well known for their crazy, off the wall, artistic labels. You can definitely go label spotting here and even just try some stuff with an with a interesting label. Let me see if I see anything particularly crazy. Uh, this, this is Leon Omnipolo. That has a pretty, I don't know what kind of orgy of art is happening in there. There's a lot of stuff happening. I definitely see some, uh, some naughty things that I will not identify. <laughs> but that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> This is your first course to get kind of your palate going. Served with uh, served with beer, of course. Um, so this is one of the only places in, well, I guess the only place in Bangkok where you can go and have a beer tasting dinner. So they're kind of pioneering that here. You've seen people do that and only have it for like one event, but this is gonna be like ongoing. So excited about that. And you see it's kind of, uh, egg kind of custardy looking thing. You're supposed to mix all this up. So it's, it's of course got the fish roe in here. Got some crispy like toasted uh, bread and some little delicate little flour. So I'm gonna try to mix all of that up and dump it in my mouth. Oh, it looks, it does, doesn't look nearly as pretty now, but hopefully that'll be delicious. really interesting. It's actually um, very refreshing. Um, um, the consistency is is very smooth, more like a more like a yogurt than, than an egg. But you've got all these flavors in there. You've got like a celery flavor. You've got a lot of citrus flavor. You've got um, a little shiso leaf flavor, which is 
a Japanese leaf that I love. Um, really interesting first chorus that disappeared a little too quickly. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have made it to the salmon course. We are three beers in, and I guess, what? One, two, three, four, about five courses in. So this is the fifth course. We're on our third beer. This, this beer is uh, McKellar 19. It's made with like 19 different hops. Um, it's my favorite of the beers so far. The, uh, for the pairing, they kind of started out mild, really mild with the beers, and I've kind of built up to this. Um, it has a lot of character and it's a lot more bitter than the other than the other beers so um, yeah it's adding a lot of flavor to everything we have it with so they've got this beautiful salmon dish so it says on the menu salmon yogurt and dill that's like the simple version of actually what's going on there's a lot of stuff happening here a couple of different pays you got some uh, some crispy chips on top you've got a seaweed calamari. Uh, I think the chips are made with, with uh, quinoa. You've got a lot of different uh, flowers and earthy vegetables laying around and you even see sea grapes in the middle of there. So there's a lot happening on this dish, not one that uh, is easy to describe. But the thing that I like so far about upstairs at McKellar is that they encourage you to kind of um, destroy all the dishes. I think um, this type of food is too often like way too polite and delicate and you have to eat it like a like a baby you know and with one pinky up it's not this place you know it's paired with beer there things are a little more laid back um, and you can actually they actually encourage you to just grab your utensils and really kind of mix this stuff up and to get a little bit of every, get a little bit of each of the flavors in every bite. So try to do that, try to get all the sauces and everything and a chunk of salmon. Right away, we got a, a lot of textures happening there. Um, super interesting. Also got like dill, and that dill is like mixing with the, the bitters on the beer. Um, super interesting dish, uh, especially if you like salmon. Salmon has been cooked sous vide style, so it's super tender. I barely have to touch it, and it just kind of separates. Salmon is yummy. Mm -hmm. My trouble is that the food is tasty um, and it's small and I get a little too excited. I forget to start eating and forget to drink my beer. So I try to stay on track here. Yeah, this is yummy. It's yummy and it's also really light, like the beer. I think it's probably the heaviest thing with with the pairing, with you know, with the food tonight. Um, all of the food is really light, very delicate, has a lot of flavors going. All right, y'all, dessert is here. Um, it looks beautiful. There's a lot going on. Um, the familiar things you'll spot are the popcorn, 
we got here, and uh, it's a corn paste, and then I think some leaves that look like at least that look like coriander. There's I don't even really want to try to even explain this to you guys. I'll explain it in the vlog a little better. I've had way too much beer and way too much food to to be really intelligible right now, but uh, it's a beautiful dish. Uh, I'm gonna scoop some in my mouth and probably say some words that may not mean anything, but I appreciate you watching anyway. All kinds of stuff happening there. So that's the dessert is crazy, and then this beer is crazy too. Oh man, it's been aged. An aged in cognac barrels, I think, and it's got a really beautiful smell like you when you, yeah, when you stick your nose in the glass. I mean, uh, yeah, if you like a fortified whiskey or a fortified liquors lover, you're gonna dig this. Super rich taste. has like a lot of like dark chocolate kind of notes, super rich, like perfect for dessert, um, but also the type of, of beer that you could sip on a hot day, I think. That's good. All right, y'all, it's been a long night. Can you see it in my eyes? I've had a, a lot of beer. So uh, yeah, don't get too close. <laughs> uh, we're heading in for the, the very last bite. I'm just gonna grab it with my hands. There's some silverware around. We're gonna ignore all of that and just um, enjoy this rich, chocolatey, stouty, dessert, after dessert stuff. You pick them both up together. At what point do I do the Mark Wings? Do what? At what point do I do the Mark Wings? What about now? <laughs> Do you guys hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids? I'm about to have a foodgasm. We got like really rich chocolatey, like super rich, super rich chocolatey stout chocolate mixed with a, a tart and sour jelly. Um, great little palate cleanser, nice way to end the meal. Presentation was simple and delicious looking. Um, but I'm glad that's the last one because I can't eat any more on freaking stuff. Um, of course, beer pairing is not like wine pairing. Like, beer really kind of sits in your belly and, uh, yeah, I'm full. So. But what an awesome meal. Um, I think we're gonna go downstairs to see what the scene is now, now that it's a little bit busier, and uh, I'll kind of wrap things up. Okay, uh, what a crazy 
beer experience um, at McKellar, upstairs at McKellar. They're doing like a fine dining style, but it's really casual. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting like super dressed up. Not only that, but these beautiful dishes come out and the instructions are basically to destroy them, like mix them up, try to get a little bit of all the flavors in your mouth. And so you're sitting there and you're just tr trying to crush these beautifully constructed dishes um, into your mouth, which I love, you know, all fine dining or any you know, anything that's really fancy, you should be able to do that with everything, I feel like. So um, I feel like that makes this place very special. Um, the flavors were interesting. There were some quirky things in there. The beer pairings also interesting. I didn't, I didn't even like all the flavors of all the beer pairings, but because uh, they were doing such like um, I would say avant-garde because they're, you know, they're doing beer pairing that nobody else is doing, and um, these flavors are, I don't know, I think it's better than most of the fine dining that I've tried in Bangkok. So I really like what they're doing. I hope to be back here. I think that um, it's gonna create some excitement in the Bangkok scene. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Even um, if you think you're not a beer drinker, they do actively with the menu try to challenge your palate, try to challenge you to try some beers that um, push the borderline uh, in terms of bitterness, in terms of sourness, um, in terms of like crazy aging or blending with uh, different flavors. Um, that's what McKellar is all about anyway. And then on top of that, they have a chef here from uh, Chicago who was pre previously at Grace, if you know, is quite a, quite a popular restaurant. So you can see some elements of Grace here. There's like quite a um, clean eating, nature focus, not nature focus, but nature centric menu. There's a, some crazy ingredients that get in there um, that you wouldn't think would be in there. And um, I, I like that about it. I, I like that it's um, a little bit off the wall. I like that it does push you a little bit. And um, honestly, I wish there were more places in Bangkok that I could uh, tell you about that are like this. So if you're in Ekamai, if you're bar hopping, if you just want to come in for a beer, if you just want to sample a couple things that they have on tap or take a couple beers home, I, I highly recommend McKellar and also upstairs at McKellar for the beer pairing dinner. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe below, click like, write a comment, tell me how much you love this video or hate this video. Um, regardless of whether you like it or not, there's, there's more coming.